In the first episode of this build series, I painted the body in yellow and added a lot of the gloss black components. Now I mentioned in that video that there were still a lot of flat black components that were needed to be added as well, but those were supposed to be done at a later stage as those were not supposed to be gloss black, but like I said, flat black. And after letting the body cure for a couple of days, it is now time to do those. So I again started masking off the entire body in order to get it ready for those parts to be painted. Now, since this is a Civic Type R, and a lot of them have a red pinstripe down the bottom, but there are no decals included, I needed to paint those on myself. So before I could start on the flat black, I first needed to do the uh, red base for that pinstripe, and then mask those pinstripes off as well. Now I'm doing this with some custom cut uh, masking tape, as the width that I wanted was not available, so I just had to make my own and simply put it in place. With the masking now down on all of the red areas for that pinstripe, I could then carefully move on to applying super thin coats of the flat black for the rest of the trim to be painted in that black to simulate the plastic color that the actual trim has in the real cars. I let it cure for a couple of minutes and then carefully started removing the masking. Prior to applying the red and the black, I sanded down the areas with a 3000 grit, but in this case it seemed that the sanding wasn't rough enough or I simply just missed a little bit and therefore needed to touch up some of the areas on the red because the red just simply peeled off with the masking tape in a couple small spots. So it simply was masked off again, sanded down with a 3000 grit again, and then I carefully applied some more red to the areas that needed it. It was pretty much this side skirt and a super small area on the front bumper, which was a really easy fix with a bit of a small brush and some of the red paint just touching it up little by little. And this side skirt was just airbrushed on again with some of the same red. So with all of the pinstriping, the black areas and the touch-ups completed, I could now carefully start unmasking the rest of the body and revealing it. On the areas around the wheel arches, I was a bit sloppy with the masking intentionally as it's a lot easier just to clean it up with a little bit of lacquer thinners on top of the clear coat than to carefully have to mask all of those areas off meticulously at the same time as the rest of the body, so a bit of cleanup was needed on those. I could then also start painting all of the remaining parts, adding some photo edge pieces before primer and paint, and then applying all of the different colors and clear coats to those areas and parts. Areas no to those parts, and then I could move on to the final assembly. If you've seen the last episode where I finished the interior, I did a quick mock-up at the end assembling the interior, and that was actually incorrect, as I mentioned there. The dashboard and door panels do not need to be glued to the interior itself. They actually needed to be glued into the body before inserting that interior tub underneath and sliding that in. The interior and chassis are now closed up so I can move on to adding some miscellaneous bits all around for the uh, headlights, taillights and some other bits and bobs.
The incredibly wheel mounting system has now been installed, but before moving on to the rest, I wanted to give all of the uh, photo edge pieces for the disc brakes a bit of a sand just to make them a little more realistic and not look as clean and smooth and unused. I then could start installing all of the calipers and sliding those disc brakes in place too. The braking system has now been installed all around, so the wheels could then be glued in place too. The muffler was installed earlier, so I just needed to add the tips to it. These were painted in the same silver and the insides will still be painted black, but that is gonna be done a bit later when I'm doing a lot of the touch-ups all around for some of the black areas, and also filling in some of the other grills that also need to be painted black. And then we're finally to the part I dread most on all these alpha model and resin model kit builds that I do, and that is the clear parts, or specifically the windows. The side windows on this one were pretty okay. They fit in nice and tight and simply just snapped in place with a little bit of help from a pushing fingernail. But the front and rear windows were a nightmare as usual as they need to be bend in all sorts of shapes and tight angles that the plastic really doesn't want to do. Now the front one isn't all that bad. You just align the top section and the sides and then the bottom section is what it is. But the rear one was a bit of a failure from alpha model if i might say as the top section fit in fine the sides were okay but then the bottom piece need to bend needed to be bent downwards a lot and that angle wasn't really what the plastic wanted to do so it started shaping and bubbling uh, in all other areas that i didn't want it to do luckily two spoilers will cover it up mostly but in this case, I really, really hate the window system that Alpha Model supplies with these kits as it's simply not suitable for these kinds of shapes to be bent into. And therefore, I'd much rather see some vacuum parts or maybe even some cast clear parts. Even though the clarity isn't really as good as these ones, I still prefer that uh, rather than having a non-fitting part, so to speak. But nonetheless, with those spoilers covering it up, it is mostly okay but still, these suck. Absolutely suck. With that out of the way, I'm moving on to some other parts in the meantime for the clear parts on the front and the rear. These were painted in black and then clear red and then simply just glued in place. So like I said earlier, uh, the exhaust tips on the inside will be painted black. At this point, I'm doing that to some of the grills and other areas that needed a tiny amount of touch up and also just simply parts that need to be painted black that weren't already. So as usual with these builds, I scribe out the panel lines to make them nice and deep and not fill up with paint, as I do sometimes tend to apply the clear coat a little bit heavy and that could help disappear all of the panel lines. So they are scribed out nice and deep and after all of the paint that I applied, they are still nice and visible. And they do have a certain depth to them, but sometimes for a little bit of added realism, I just like to add some Tamiya panel line color into it, just to make it a little bit darker and not have any body color show through. With that said and done, that finishes off this build. It is a nice quick one as usual with these alpha model kits. A super nice kit, apart from the clear parts on the rear and the front that I mentioned, but overall, I still really enjoy building these kits. They are on the expensive side, but they also offer a unique selection that can't be found elsewhere. If you're interested in some alpha model kits, I will be leaving links down below. And also, I will be leaving a couple of links to my Patreon and channel membership pages if you want to help the channel out and support my efforts in creating these videos for you guys.